Hey, welcome to this Corbin Miles video on finding the midpoint of two fractions. Before you watch this video, I'd highly recommend you watch two of our videos on Corbin Miles. They are adding fractions and dividing fractions, and those two videos will be really useful. So to find the midpoint of two fractions, what we do is we add the two fractions together and divide by two. And that's the same as if we want to find the midpoint of two numbers. You can add two numbers together and divide it by two, and it'll tell you the, the number that's exactly halfway between them. So our first question says, find the fraction that is exactly halfway between one third and two fifths. So if we want to add these two fractions together to begin with, we're going to write one third plus two fifths. So we're adding together one third and two fifths. Now denominators are three and five, and the lowest common multiple of three and five is 15. So let's have a common denominator of 15. And to get from three to 15, we'd multiply by five. So we're going to multiply the numerator by five. So one third is the same as five fifteenths. Two fifths, well we want to have a denominator of 15. So to get from five to 15, we'd multiply by three. So multiplying the numerator by three, two times three would be equal to six. So two fifths, an equivalent fraction would be 6 fifteenths. Now if we add those two together, our 5 fifteenths and our 6 fifteenths, that would be equal to 11 fifteenths. So adding our two fractions together gives us a total of 11 fifteenths. Now we need to divide by two, and then that will tell us the fraction that's in the middle of those fractions. So if we take our 11 fifteenths and we divide it by two. Now remember two is the same as two over one. So two holes, that's 11 over 15 divided by two over one. And to divide by a fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal is what we find when we flip over the fraction. So that's going to be 11 over 15 multiplied by 1 over 2. 11 times 1 is equal to 11, and 15 times 2 is equal to 30. So the fraction that is exactly halfway between 1 third and 2 fifths would be 11 thirtieths, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So our next question says, find the fraction that is exactly halfway between 1 half and 7 eighths. So again, we're going to add the two fractions together, the 1 half and the 7 eighths. So our denominators are 2 and 8, so the lowest common multiple of 2 and 8 is 8, so let's have 8 on the denominators. 7 eighths will just be 7 eighths. To get from 2 to 8, we multiply by 4, so we multiply the numerator by 4, so 1 half is 4 eighths. Now adding those two together, the 4 eighths and the 7 eighths would be 4 plus 7 is 11 eighths. Now we need to divide this by 2, so it's going to be 11 over 8 divided by 2 over 1. And that would be the same as 11 over 8 multiplied by 1 half. And then that would give us 11 times 1 is equal to 11, and 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So the fraction that is exactly halfway between a half and 7 eighths would be 11 sixteenths. Right, so let's have a look at our last example. So our last question says, find the number that is exactly halfway between three and three quarters and seven tenths. So you might notice that three and three quarters is a mixed number. So let's change that into a top heavy fraction. So three times four is 12, plus three is 15. So that'll be 15 quarters. So three and three quarters is the same as 15 quarters. And we want to find the number that is exactly halfway between 15 quarters and 7 tenths. So we'll add these two together, so 15 quarters plus 7 tenths. So we want to find the common denominator of 4 and 10. Well, I think 20 would be a good choice, 20 and 20. To get from 4 to 20, we multiply by 5. So we need to multiply the numerator, this 15 by 5. So 15 multiplied by 5. Well, 10 times 5 is 50, and 5 times 5 is 25, so that'll be 75. So that's 75 twentieths. And to get from 10 to 20, we multiply by 2. So we'll multiply the numerator by 2 as well. So 7 times 2 is 14. So we've got 75 twentieths plus 14 twentieths. And when we add those two together, we get, well, 75 plus 14 is 89 twentieths. So we find when we add the two fractions together, we get 89 twentieths. Now we need to divide by 2. So we've got 89 twentieths. We want to divide it by 2, which is 2 over 1. Remember, that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, so multiplying by a half. So 89 over 20 multiplied by a half. 89 times 1 is 89, and 20 times 2 is 40. So your answer would be 89 fortieths. But let's just write that as a mixed number. So 40 goes into 89 twice, that's 80. And we've got a remainder of 9, so 9 over 40. So the number that is exactly halfway between 3 and 3 quarters and 7 tenths is 2 and 9 fortieths. So to find the midpoint of two fractions, we add the two fractions together and then divide by two.